plant update. The cilantro has grown like a foot overnight somehow. Last time I remember looking, it was here. And now, we've got all this new growth. It's definitely still favoring that plant, but the others are also starting to shoot up. The dills are getting some height too. And it looks like it may retire the center stalk here as well. It's growing another one down here, this chive. But this one is thick and juicy like the first one was. It makes me wonder if it was just like trying to get enough sunlight to grow a real one. The holly is getting a little bit crazy. It's got two big ass arms here. Still not much height yet. The little maples are getting their second set of leaves. And the twin flame tree has all of these new buds coming. It's, it's slower than I imagined, but it's happening. They're going. Nothing down here yet, but we'll see. The top is still going. The roses are looking good still. All that new growth. And I think the Tatsoi Mustards must have heard me talking shit last time I made a video. They were like, okay, he said we're not growing tall, guys. So now they're literally, they're literally trying to bust out of the soil and grow in bunches higher up. Um, this one's beginning to flower, which I haven't seen yet so far, which is super interesting to me. But they're all suddenly raising up out of the soil and trying to, to go upward. And the arugula in the middle here is beginning to flower. We've got some weird vine here that I still don't know what it is, but that looks like it's doing okay. More growth on the roses. Crazy, crazy arugula. The kiwis, cute as ever. Maples everywhere. Daffodils, clovers. Still nothing in this pot. Mints with all the little baby mints are coming. We'll invade some motherfuckers. And it looks like this one was another maple. Rest in peace. We've already got maples. We don't need more. This flower is so cool looking. It's not a flower yet. It's working on it. Then, those two. The triage babies. My little lawn patch is beginning to get greener. It's uh, slow going. But we've got some grass growing in. And a lot of those clovers that I've got in the pots. I'm thinking I might actually transplant what grows in there into the center of that patch so that we can get a little bit more more coverage easily or at least easier look at those roses this is the first one that went it's beginning to wane for sure but we've got three beautiful new rose buds here and another one over here with two more in the making that is the plant update I'm still not sure when I'm going to go clover hunting again because I need two more. And then I'll be good to go. But, hold on, somebody's coming to the door. That was a delivery guy dropping off something for my brother. So I think that means somebody watching might have something coming in. Something expected. I don't know. I think it's time for a reading. I got shit every year. Let's do a quick pull from the Twin Flame Ascension Oracle. I don't really use my oracles much, but I've got them. Maybe I'll show you. Since I'm not using this as a seed rack right now, I moved all my stuff onto the plant shelf. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that one. I might still use the second one for seeds. But the other one is holding all my cards and stuff. And since they are shuffled and all that, I might as well use them every once in a while. So, Spirit, what's the reading about? Release, raise, and reclaim. Program, reprogram your soul. Accessing the unified field, sacred sexuality. I like kind of like the art on these cards, the Twin Flame Ascension Oracle. But this says to me, sexual healing, which is still on the to-do list. Should I talk about that? Blue cars confirmation. So. 
we're gonna call it a dry spell, but my ex and I stopped the intimate part of our relationship probably around Should I start over? I don't want to talk about this. Ugh. All right. It was probably about two, three years before the relationship ended, and it's been a year since then. So that would put me about four years without intimacy. Page of Cups. And, you know, I tried to get back out there um, a couple times, but for whatever reason, I was guided to enjoy my independence alone. Until the right person came along, which is very unlike me in my history. I was a little bit of a flirty flirt back when I was younger. High Priestess, though. And I think it's really difficult for people that are trying to heal sexual wounds to engage in intimacy in a healthy, positive way. Because, honestly, my sex life was never really that positive. When I was younger, it was all about attention and ego and filling the, uh, the need for validation and self-worth with sex. And when I was older, there was a very brief window where it was a positive thing. And then it became something that I had to do in order to keep the relationship smooth. It didn't feel like something I wanted to be doing because it didn't feel positive or uplifting to participate in that with my ex. So I have been struggling with the fear that once I wind up in this divine union that I've seen coming, I'm not going to know how to properly engage, I guess, because intimacy, the Knight of Swords, shouldn't be rushed or overanalyzed, it's about love, but when you have had such little experience in that way of having it be about love, how do you make it safe? Because if it was just about a good time, I know how to do that. But, I don't know. It's kind of one of those things that moves intuitively for me. Like, I don't think I'll have a problem once, once the time comes. But, it's just a, a random fear. Page of Wands. Well, the cards are saying that we shouldn't rush this. We need to follow our intuition, trust that our divine partnership is going to facilitate that properly, and know that we are going to be able to keep it safe, fun, light, and happy. And there's something about inner child connection here, making it a better, more healing process. That Queen of Wands energy may actually put you in a mental prison. So if you try too hard to over-sexualize and be, you know, magnetic like we are, Wheel of Fortune, it might end up coming off too passionate and a little bit reckless and mislead the situation that could wind up very stable and long-term because you come in it with passionate energy. Lower your guard. I'll lower mine. That's my goal here. Lower the guard. Have fun. Thanks for watching.